apologies if I screw this up. <clears throat> Oopsie whoopsie! The train is stucky wacky! We send her hard at work on the make it we can't see better feeds in! Please stop! Dutch is barely a respectable language as it already is! Why you must hurt my Kokoro like this? His name is... Snurt. Everybody who read blog to this post is going to hell. This is a picture of baby Jesus. No, his name is Snart. <laughs> I guess I gotta perform some miracles because dad told me to. Ugh. I love Persephone and Hades because everything Western tries their best to make him seem like this stern, powerful, dark guy when in actual mythology, he was probably more like that guy in your language arts class who writes his own poetry but throws it away because he doesn't think it's any good. And he listens to Bright Eyes and he's teaching himself to knit. And then there's this girl he likes at school and he thinks he'd be a good boyfriend. And so he tricks her over to his house to work on a group project, intending to put the moves on her. But she gets inside and is like, wow, your parents are loaded. Cool. You've got all this great food in your fridge. This is awesome. I'm never leaving. And it's just really stressful time for him right now, okay? I imagine Demeter, Persephone's mom, is like a crunchy granola vegan person. And half the reason Persephone likes being in Hades' house is because she doesn't have to eat quinoa in there. She just wanted a dang pomegranate without a lecture about carbon cost of transporting it to the store. Is that just too much to ask? Meanwhile, Western culture really likes Zeus, and in reality, the majority of his stories were him putting his slanger into everything. Upon second viewing, I have definitely concluded that Guardians of the Galaxy is even better when you imagine it as a tabletop campaign with an increasingly frustrated DM who's sick of being interrupted. Roll d10. Red high, 12. You have 12% of a plan. The entire prison break scene was just Rocket's player rolling knowledge checks on every turn until something worked. Oh my god. When Drax's player said, I go to the phone booth and call Ronin to nowhere. The DM stared open mouth for a minute, then called break time, and the rest of the party was speechless. Pretty much just in general, Drax's player is one of those people who thinks chaotic neutral means throw self at shenanigans for the lols, and is really fortunate he didn't have any other opportunities to derail the campaign. Gamora's player gets really exacerbated by the entirety of the campaign. They rolled a character with a tragic backstory and clear hooks to the villain to expand on and had no idea that everyone else was going to be so silly. It's leading to begging the party to just once execute a normal plan because look at Gamora's stealth bonus. The min-maxed assassin needs a chance to use her abilities, please. Rocket's a skill monkey who, if not for Drax's grand display of idiocy, would have gladly derailed the campaign with absurd plans. Groot was a joke idea someone came up with that people ended up liking too much. And Ronan's confusion when Star-Lord began dancing was the DM's confusion verbatim. The DM now vetoes chaotic neutral characters on principle. Hey. Everyone's bones are wet. Why would you say this? No one said hi back. I would've. At night, the coral reef parrotfish sleep in a blanket made of mucus to protect themselves from parasites. He looks so pleased with himself. I spit on myself so nothing will eat me. It doesn't matter how terrifying or monstrous or deadly you make your eldritch monster, there's gonna be a person who hauls themselves out of the sewers to tell you that they will personally frick it! This post has so many notes and it's mostly people calling out their friends for their sewer-dwelling awful cryptid frickers and I love it! EXPOSE THEM! Just for once in your life, don't smash! BIG MONSTER! You are loved, you are valuable, and you are needed. <laughs> A lake in Montana whose water is so clear it appears to be shallow, when really it's over 100 feet deep. This is actually kind of terrifying because what if someone doesn't know how deep it is? So they go diving and they try to swim to the bottom, but they always seem just out of reach. So they keep swimming. And when they realize something's wrong, it's too late. Imagine seeing a body at the bottom. Tumblr has the ability to turn everything beautiful into something terrifying. What if you see a skeleton at the bottom? of what appears to be a shallow part of the lake. As you dive down to check them out, you notice the water is deeper than you originally thought. Much deeper. You come to realize that there is no way these remains could be human. You're not even halfway down, and already the skull looks bigger than your car. This started so tranquil, and then it turned into Friday the 13th. Where exactly is this? While my friend and I were out ice fishing, his dog broke out of his house and got herself a job. Full story? How did this happen? This dog has a job and I don't. So, Nina Tucker was four years old in 1914. 
That means she was born in 1910. Guess what year in the Chinese zodiac that happened to be? Why did you think you needed to do this? Simple. I refuse to suffer alone, so I'm dragging everyone down in this fandom with me. One time my dad went through the White Castle drive through and the lady who was supposed to say, Welcome to White Castle, what's your crave? Asked, Welcome to White Castle, what's your problem? She apologized profusely while my dad proceeded to lose his sanity laughing. Yesterday I went to Wendy's and the girl said, Welcome to McDonald's, and then she just sighed. Somebody in the elevator asked me what floor I lived on, and I answer, Please open your books to page 8. And we kind of just stared at each other, blinking. Waking up on November 1st is literally like walking through a door from Halloween Town to Christmas Town. What's this? What's this? There's decor everywhere. What's this? What's this? There's carols in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. It's just November. Come on, folks. I mean, I swear. What is this? <laughs> what if you kept the horse mask 24-7 while raising the child, and they thought they were raised by a horseman hybrid and never knew any different, and then one day you took the mask off? That's a great idea. No one on Tumblr should ever become parents! I always wanted to find you all, though. Not like this. Not like this. Guess who's buying a couch that might not fit in his car? Guess who managed to fit an entire three-person sofa in his Kia Soul? Bottoms find a way. I'm screaming! I worked with toddlers and preschoolers for three years. Sometimes I accidentally slip and tell a friend to say bye to an inanimate object. Say bye, bus! And occasionally they unthinkingly just do it. I'm glad there's a teacher version of accidentally called teacher mom. When I worked at Medieval Times, occasionally I would slip in real life and call people, my lord. One time during family prayer, dad began, Our father, who art in heaven. American Airlines, how can I help you? Damn it. In the Harry Potter universe, where paintings and images can interact with those looking at them, Waifu pillows are probably a lot more interesting. I can't believe you just casually posted this like it was an okay thing to do! Poor Rem is not prepared for the things that are ahead of her. This guy I know throws this wild crazy party at the end of every year, and he invites literally everyone in our grade, and this year I'm gonna call the cops ahead of time to shut it down, because once I let him borrow a pencil and he never gave it back. That's a lot of anger over just one pencil. It was a mechanical pencil! You may proceed! I tried ordering a boneless burger and the entire functioning system crashed. Read the error log. This thing didn't just crash. Somehow ordering a boneless burger corrupted the bootloader. Amazing bug right there. This thing didn't crash. It broke. Can someone who's never seen Full Metal Alchemist explain what is going on here? The VeggieTales meet Jackie Chan for the first time. Naked fruit. I feel like I wasn't supposed to see this. Pretty sure my soulmate is a bag of sour gummy worms. I just ate a whole bag of those, no joke. You piece of festering scab, that was the love of my life! I just had the best encounter with a child at Kmart. I was in the aisle shopping, and this girl and her dad came around the corner. The girl sees me and excitedly exclaimed, There's a human here! To which the father replied, Yes, there's humans everywhere. Bro, do you realize you met aliens? Not unusual for a Kmart. The gang's all here! The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ah yes, clotting, idiocy. Hyperactivity, and finally, STAN!